Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onan Guzman, and our topic for today is the simple statistical instrument. Specifically, we will talk about the level of measurements for grade 7, quarter 4. So before we start with the simple statistical instruments, let's recall first the meaning of data. So data is a collection of facts or set of information or observation under study. So there are two types of data. So the first one is the quantitative data. It means that it is consists of numbers representing counts or measurements. It is measurable. On the other hand, we have qualitative data. It can be separated into different categories that are distinguished by some non-numeric characteristics. We can use our senses to describe the data. Furthermore, quantitative data can be um, subdivided into discrete data. So again, discrete data results from either a finite number or possible values of or countable number of possible values such as 0 or 1 or 2 and so on and so forth. On the other hand, if we say continuous data, they are maintained by measuring. They often include fractions and decimals. So again, so the data is actually a collection of information. It can be classified as quantitative or qualitative, but quantitative can be divided into discrete or continuous data. To explain more on the type of data, so let's talk about the variables and types of data. So qualitative variables or qualitative data, it is actually the data or variables that can be placed into distinct categories according to some characteristics of attribute. So for our example, we have actually our favorite color. Say for instance, my favorite color is green, while yours is green and so on and so forth. Another one is ethnicity. So we can have actually the Caucasian, Filipinos, and other. Next, we have perception. And last one is actually zip code. Although zip code is numerical value, but it doesn't mean that okay, a zip code of 5 is greater than a zip code of a city or a town, which is actually as a zip code of 1. The zip code or this number has not actually no meaning at all. So this is only for qualification. Moving on, we will talk about the quantitative variables or quantitative data. So variables that are numerical and can be ordered or ranked. For example, so the test, test scores. So the weight, perhaps your weight is greater than my weight or my weight is the same as your weight. So we can compare that or we can order that or rank. Another example is daily allowance. Perhaps my daily allowance is greater than your daily allowance or the other way around. And finally, our height. As I mentioned a while ago, so the quantitative variable can be break down into two. So the first one is the discrete variable or discrete data. So again, so discrete variable assures values that can be counted. For example, so the number of person in a classroom. So we cannot say that, okay, we have one and a half person in a classroom. It is always a whole number. So again, so discrete variable or discrete data, it should be always as a whole number. Another example is the number of pages. On the other hand, if we say continuous variables, continuous variables can assume an infinite number of values between any two specific values. They are obtained by measuring. They often include fractions and decimals. Example are temperature, we have the height, and the gross national product. Why temperature? We can say actually 35.5 degrees centigrade. Okay, my height is 165.5 centimeters, or the Philippine gross national product is 18.5% or something like that. Or the gross national product is $58.9 billion. 
Now that we talk about already the variables and types of data, so let's move on to the level of measurements. By the way, there are four levels of measurements that we will talk about in this simple statistical instrument. So the first one is the nominal. So nominal classifies data into mutually exclusive, meaning to say that is non-overlapping categories in which no order or ranking can be imposed on data. Lowest level of data measurements where the values for the variables are used for identification purpose only. Example, we have jersey number. So we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Then we have also the gender. We can have male or female. Then we have also marital status. We have also the student number or student ID number. And finally, we have the on the other hand, if we will talk about the ordinal, so that is the second level of measurement. So ordinal meaning C, it classifies data into categories that can be ranked. However, precise differences between the rest do not exist. So examples are positions in the company, and the other one is the difficulty of an exam. Also, another example is the socioeconomic status. So we can classify as the poor average as well as the rich. But there is no okay, precise difference between the rust of okay, middle income, rich, and poor. Another example is the rank and contest. Although you landed first, but we cannot okay, precisely determine the difference between the first and the second placer in the contest. Let's move on to the third level of measurement, which is interval. So the interval level of measurements runs data, and precise difference between units of measures do exist. However, there is no meaningful zero or true zero point. So example is our temperature. So example, we can read the zero degrees centigrade and 100 degrees centigrade. If we have zero degree centigrade, that means that we don't have temperature right next one is iq score so sometimes if your iq is zero it doesn't mean that you're okay you are not you do not have intelligence so again there is no meaningful zero in the level of measurement or interval fourth type of level of measurement is what we call ratio so the ratio level of measurements runs data Precise difference between units of measures do exist and meaningful zero or true zero point. So our examples are distance. So another one is the salary. So perhaps that my salary is 10 times as your salary or I don't have salary at all. And another example is each. Okay. So that is the level of measurement. To summarize our discussion on simple statistical instrument, so data can be classified as either quantitative or qualitative. Quantitative meaning to say that is measurable, so it can be discrete, meaning to say that is a whole number, or continuous that is actually in fraction or decimal. On the other hand, data can be qualified, uh, classified as qualitative, so meaning to say we can use our senses. And also, we discuss about the level of measurements, either that is nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. So that ends our discussion on the simple statistical instrument. This is Teacher Onan Bigusman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.